This is truly a one-of-a-kind creepy fish that is unlike any other fish that we've ever bought before. Now you know us fish guys, we love showing you the strangest, coolest fish that someone could possibly own. And this fish specifically, we have never come across whether it was in a store or online. But we have finally got lucky enough to find one on the web, so let's jump right into the computer and see what we got. Now we're about to jump right into this. We're about to look into some really awesome fish, some awesome websites. But before we do that, we gotta get real right now. We gotta get real. Your hair's looking freaking good. Thank you. If you are wanting to start your hair restoration journey, it starts with keeps. As you know, this is me right here. Look at that. That's my Whoa. head. That's my head. That's my balding head. Pretty crazy to think about when you're 25. At a young age. That was, no, that was like 24. Wow. 24 years old, balding, full blown. So if you want to jumpstart your hair restoration, it all starts with Keeps. They are the best. They make it super easy for you. It is so convenient. It shows up right to your door. You can opt for different shipment plans, three, six, 12 months, whatever works best for you to keep you on schedule with keeping that hair nice. Keeps is clinically proven to work. Most people see results in six months. I saw results super quickly because I was so diligent with it. I made sure to stay on my routine no matter what. So you gotta be diligent and you gotta start early. Keeps has over 4,500 five-star reviews with impressive before and after photos so you know you're getting a great product. Hair loss stops with Keeps for a special offer. Go over to keeps.com forward slash the fish guys or click the link in the description to get your special offer. That's keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com forward slash the fish guys. There's no other way for us to explain or describe how strange this fish is other than literally to just watch some viral videos on it because there's no other fish like it in the ocean. It is, I would say, this is a one of a kind fish. <laughs> it it's is a one of a kind fish. Is. No, there's no other fish that swims in the ocean On like this. God, this is a real one of a kind fish. There's no other fish like this. There's fish. no other fish remotely, even like this. <laughs> no, <this> <laughs> Whenever we catch them, we don't catch them very often, but whenever we do, we always show off the one key factor which sets them aside from every fish in the ocean, and that is the sucker on the top of the head. Yes, we're talking about the remora fish that loves to go on top of sharks, loves to go on stingrays, turtles, whales, you name it. I never sucked one onto me before, but Jack has, and does it hurt? Yeah. No, it does when, you know, somebody thinks they can just rip the remora off rather than, you know, like a suction cup, you just kind of I did not do it. that. Yes, fully. <laughs> Look at this. Holy crap, is that a lot of remoras. That's about 100 remoras on the whale shark. And look at that, dude. They're all just sucked to them. I'm pretty sure they, they hitch a ride yeah. on the sharks, and then they eat around the shark. Eat around the shark. So when the shark goes and makes a big kill on a bonita, and uh, like that, and they get the scraps. All, yeah, they eat all the scraps. So I think what's good about these, right? You mm -hmm. know, they, they clean up the ocean. They're going to be one of the best cleanup crews. I think that's true. Ever. I think it's you know what I'm saying? They'll just eat all the stuff on the Symbiotic bottom. relationship. Exactly. Now, we have actually caught little ones of these guys like this big as well on the needlefish at the inlet remember that yep or is it the pier is it the pier the pier the pier yeah we caught them like this it's so tiny we really i think we sh should make a video go catch a bunch of these little guys especially put them in in the big saltwater pond yeah. with all the other ones exactly guys. the big saltwater pond with a bunch of those guys going all over the fish that would be cool so take a look right here we have a remora on top of a blue dot stingray inside of an aquarium wow this guy's got quite the array he's yeah. got a blue dot stingray a shark egg Shark eggs floating. Yeah. It means there's air inside. Not, Not very good. good. Not good. Blue ribbon eel, puffer fish, and a remora. And a remora. Pretty good. Completes dope. the tank. You see what I'm saying? I, yeah, exactly. I think you just gotta have them. It looks I, fantastic. I think you just gotta have them. Remora's cool. We've never seen one, and we finally found one online, but there's a couple different options that we gotta look at. So, this is the first one I found. I actually just was like thinking, you know, let's just try to actively look for one. So, if this is the first one I found, $500. That's Absolutely crazy. I mean, it's a cool fish, but for $500, I can just go catch one. Yeah. Then we should move on to the next website. Well, but what I saw at the end was oh, out of stock. even so better. I thought it was an option, but it's not even an option. Anyways, because it's out of stock. So 500 bucks for more, out of stock. It is what it is. Then I found this one, which was $199. We're getting better. But it, then it says two, two inches. inches. And below. Two inches. 200 bucks for a two inch. That's $100 an inch for a, <laughs> literally a remora this big. That's ridiculous, dude. 200 bucks, but then it also said sold out. It's so. a glorified catfish. Yeah. Same website. I found a, a six to eight incher, 320 bucks. It's not bad. Not bad. It's not bad. Same photos and everything, no description, but what is this? 
Let's just look at it really okay, quick. Okay, okay. I'm interested. Okay, okay. It caught my eye. That's a two bar soap fish. It caught my eye. That's never, a two bar soap fish. I've never seen this thing before. That is cool. Looks like an angler or grouper mix. Hybrid. It's on sale. 150 bucks. How many do they get? How many do they get? Nine inches. Dude, that's a cool no, looking like fish, bro. Very I don't rare. know, we might have to do a shopping spree on this side. If you guys want to see that, drop a like on this video if you want to see a shopping spree on violetaquarium.com. Are we gonna look at anything else? No, know? I think we just, I think, you know. It says lobsters though. Okay, okay, okay. I never okay, okay, okay. I've never seen the lobster stab. Purple reef and a red dwarf spiny. Red dwarf spiny lobster is kind of cool. What? That's a sick lobster. That is a really cool looking lobster. It's probably this big. Can't trust it, yeah, I was just gonna say. If it's like rock, a freaking lobster like that, I'll, I'll buy it. For sure. Friend to Earl. So then I uh, came across this one here. This is a different website. Came across this one, 99 to 150. Not bad. Definitely a better price on this. Gives a whole big description here, and it's got small, medium, and large. So small, 99 bucks, 150. Eight, 10 to 12 inches though. That's primo. That's perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and place an order. See if it comes in alive, well, and how big it's gonna be. Appropriate size. And we'll see what kind of uh, where we're gonna put it. So let's see if it comes in alive. Cheers. Let's, Let's do it, baby. Spend some money on a remora. Now our box has arrived, and we are actually not gonna be putting this guy in the big saltwater pond because we're slowly adding to that with smaller fish. So we're gonna be putting it in Jack's pond, the saltwater pond outside, and I think it's gonna go great in there. So you know what we gotta do. Before we unbox, let's make sure everyone is nice and full like they just had Thanksgiving dinner. Now we're gonna be putting him in this pond right here, which is just, it's just fantastic. This is Jack's saltwater pond that has a bunch of cool fish in here. He's got two big old sharks. He's got a big panther grouper. He's got a big eels. And of course, if you've been a washer of Fish Guy Chris, the Emperor Snapper. We had to move him to this pond because of all the construction at my house. So the Emperor Snapper is thriving in Jack's pond. So we're gonna feed these guys, make sure they're nice and full. Oh, Let's look at this. Wants to eat. Oh, dude, oh. just as beastly as ever, guys. I'm telling you, this fish is a savage. Hand feed galore. He eats nonstop. He is definitely one of the coolest fish. Look at the shark! Oh my god. Look at the shark! The shark. He's dying, bro. The shark don't play any games, Tail dude. Tail walking, bro. He loves him some shrimp. Savage shark, bro. I know, dude. dude you gotta be careful. Sometimes, this... you know, he really tries to sky oh like a slimer. Oh my god. He tries to sky like a slimer sometimes. Just do doesn't work out for him. I know, he, he's psychotic. Look at the golden edge. Golden edge in that sunlight, oh my God, he looks so dang good. Now this pond, it's got some really, really cool fish in here. To be honest, it's got really badass fish. So if you guys have been following along the channel and noticed through the whole construction process, you know that at the house, we just rebuilt the whole, the giant pond. We got that thing back up and running and we got that extra space on the on the right side of the garage. We wanna get ponds like this. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Damn it, hold on, this is my tissue. This is my tissue throughout the day. Started off strong and now it has become strings. That's how much I can blow my nose all day long. I'm the allergy ball. Shout out to everyone that uh, has allergies and asthma out there that's watching this video because Fish Guy Chris is plagued by allergies and asthma. But as I was saying, on the other side of the, of the uh, garage, we're gonna get ponds like this, have a predatory pond and then have our shallow reef ponds. So we're gonna have three giant saltwater ponds in the garage. That's the goal by the end of this, so. You guys gotta see the coolest thing inside of here, and that is my zebra mora eel, Marty. He is, he just looks like an illusion. He comes right up to the surface, chases down shrimp. He is such a awesome, we actually have three really cool eels inside here. Big zebra mora eel, big golden mora eel, and a big snowflake mora eel, as well as, who's not an eel, but a big panther grouper. We're gonna get all these guys fed for you underwater. Come here, big dude. Right to the surface. Yeah, he sucks that thing down. He loves himself some shrimp. Look at that golden morial in the sunlight. That is absolutely incredible. Oh, he's out, he's out. He almost looks like a banana eel. Here he is, his head's right here, look at this. Oh, oh he's a savage. Here you go, boy. Come here. He's eating good, dude. Dude, Hell yeah, yeah. He, he loves shrimp, bro. This guy's a beast. Oh, missed it. That is probably the coolest eel inside of here. Here comes Marty, right oh to the side. Oh, Marty! Marty. <laughs> Marty's, Marty's a dog. Marty's, Marty's a dog. The animal the... eel's fighting him over it. Oh my God, out there. Oh he my God, he stole it. it. He stole it. Marty needs another piece, bro. Marty needs a, Marty needs a whole shrimp. Bro, Marty here. I got his Marty here, stolen. there you go, boy. There you nice. go. That is the fattest, longest zebra morio I've ever seen in my, in my entire life. All right, let's get our big boy to the pond. Hopefully he's really, really giant because if we get a small one, that's not gonna be good. Oh my God, my back. Hitting way too many balls at the golf range. I'll tell you what, I've been piping him though. 
and I've been piping them with the new Fish Guy hat on and the new athletic gray Fish Guy performance quarter zip, which is perfect for the golf range. I go to the gym with that shirt on and I get all the dudes coming up to me saying, when's that shirt coming out, bro? I'm trying to hit the range Shirt's so it. fire. Literally wear it anywhere. I wear it fishing, golfing, relaxing. On the boat. Out with boat, the boys. Walking around. Wherever. You can bring that thing anywhere. So go check out shopfishguy.com if you haven't seen the brand new drop. All right, so this remora should have came in around like- I'll do the honors. Eight to 10 inches, which is what we're hoping for. If that's the case, that is literally perfect. But if he comes in any smaller, I think we might have to take him to the saltwater pond at the, at the curb. Let us know. if, for, As of right now, if he comes in at right at that size, eight, 10 inches, he's gonna go inside here. But if you guys wanna see us put him in the big pond in the garage. Drop a like on the video. Drop a like on the video. Let us know down in the comments. I think it would be really cool. I, the only reason why I thought to definitely gonna be putting him in here is because there are more, there's bigger fish in And there's sharks. So like it, make, it goes hand in hand. Makes sense, so. Watch out. Nice. That's a clean cut. Good incision. I'm holding it like this. Because I know, I, like I, you know, I, honestly. I'm not having I, the best day. Perfect freaking incision. Careful, dude. All right, man. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's a big box. You that is a big freaking box. That's a giant box. That is a- Why is it? Big Omaha Steaks, it's always, baby. It's always Omaha Steaks. Omaha Steaks. steaks. <laughs> Every time, bro. I guess I got the back. Oh! That thing's sick. Holy crap. Okay, Look hold on. Let me, pull, let me pull this out first. I actually I swallowed the surprise Holy for crap, it's perfect. It looks like a baby cobia. It looks like a baby cobia. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. Okay. Good work. Get that box out of here. Get that box out of here. <laughs> Good work. This fish is sick. Check out these steaks we got. I think they're filet mignon, so let's take a look. Look at this right here, baby. Look at that fish! Oh my god, he took a big old deuce in the water. Did he? Hello. How you doing? Good, how are you? I got the meat truck out here. You guys like to eat steak? <laughs> no, nah, that's alright. Alright. Thank, Thank you. you. What? Listen, another day living the fish guy lifestyle. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. He heard us talking about Omaha steaks. He has a meat truck? I had the steaks out here. Hold on, guys. This is I serious. Gotta scope this out. He told us he has a meat truck. Do we want He's any steak? Guy. You guys want steaks? I can't, I can't remember what he said. All I just uh, know I saw just him this. on his tippy toes over the fence like this. Hey, you guys want steaks? <laughs> it is a meat truck. Premium quality. No, it's a steak, chicken, and seafood delivered. Maybe what are the odds? He probably heard Omaha steaks. He's like. He got so pumped. <laughs> let's get back to our fish, please. Guys, let's look at this fish. I think this might be one of the first fish that actually puts himself in the pond. I'm gonna try literally just putting my hand in here, seeing if he sucks onto it, and then he can go in the pond like that. But look at that right there. Oh, my lanta. That is a perfect fish, dude. Come here, dude. No, that no, thing no. is sick, No, dude. no, no. Look at that. That thing is sick. Look at that. Oh, he's so hard to hold. He's squirming. Try to suck him on your hand. Look at that thing. That is so dang weird. He definitely does not want to suck onto the to the hand right now, but he is perfect size. That really is a sick fish. Okay. The problem so is he's not really, huge. That's that's perfect for the Emperor Snapper. Show bro. you guys. Look at that fish. Look at that right there. Holy crap! Look at that. Oh. So this fish right here is hopefully gonna suck onto one of the fish. Who knows? Maybe he'll be a free swimmer. But that right there is really beautiful. He's really slimy, he's really tough to hold. This has been one of the weirdest videos we've ever filmed. There's so much weird shit going on. Hey, you want steaks? <laughs> like what? Can you just like, what are they, I, I don't know. I was just replaying everything that happened today and today has been a very weird Wednesday. Where were you? Where were you? Like five minutes ago. Let's get this gorgeous specimen inside of the pond right now. Gonna be the smallest fish in there, but gonna be a good fish to have. Let's see where he's gonna go, man. Nonetheless, here we go. All right, buddy. Here we go. Go on. That is a cool shot that's right there. So that's fish. his sucker right there. He's gonna go on to somebody probably. He's a free swimmer, dude. That thing is sick. He is a free swimmer, bro. It's literally a cobia. What Literally a baby cobia. He looks really good, dude. He looks really good. Probably a little bit intimidated, but f for the most part, holy crap. Is that fish freaking cool right there, dude? Here he comes. He's about to get in the sunlight. There he is. Oh my God, look at that right there. Look at the sheet of Velcro on the top of his head. So we got a little bit of shrimp left behind on the bottom, and that's a perfect thing for him to eat eventually. 
Yeah, he, he thought about the snapper and then he got a little scared, but he's gonna be a good cleanup guy in here. That is for dang sure. There you have it, guys. That Remora looks fantastic. Hopefully, as he gets more comfortable in the pond, he will Velcro on to the Ember Snapper and that will look really cool. If the Ember Snapper's swimming around crazy and that thing's Velcroed to him, He's gonna stay he's gonna, right yeah, there. He's gonna stay right He's on. gonna go for a ride along right on the Amber Snapper. Or maybe he wants to go on one of the sharks. That would be kind of cool. So we got the uh, Remora, the first ever Remora for the pond. He looks great. Go check out shopfishhead.com if you want the new drop. We will see you guys in the next one. Peace.